Hi, welcome back to part three of creating a snake game in Microsoft Visual C Sharp. Um, in the last two tutorials, we've created the snake and got it moving around the form. And um, in this tutorial, we're going to get the food appearing, and um, hopefully, we can get the snake eating it. So, um, just a couple of quick patch ups. Um, we're going to change the size of the form to 306 and 328 um, in the right hand side down here, and we're going to change uh, the form border style to fixed single. So um, once we've done that we can create a, a new class and we'll call this class um, food.cs nice and simple and we're going to bring in um, the library of drawing and Right, we'll get straight into it. So, private int uh, x, y, width, the height, it's the same as the snake class, and we want to have a solid brush to draw it. Brush, and we also just want a rectangle, which we'll call food rec, and that's it. Um, the variables. Now we're going to make a constructor and we're going to pass it in a random oh, a range, uh, random in class and we'll call this ran food and then we'll get set on um, giving these variables some values. So x is equal to ran food dot next uh, 0 and 29 and then we want to times that value by 10 and we're doing this for the y as well, we're doing this because um, when the snake's travelling along it's going along in blocks of 10 so this will keep the food all in line with the snake which makes things tidy, tidier um, and then we'll just set the brush set that to black, black should be fine, and we'll, um, we'll set up the width and the height, equal to, they can just both be equal to 10, um, and finally we'll set up our food rec, yes, it's equal to new rectangle, and this can just be um, x, y, oops, x, y, width and height. Cool, and I think that's all we really need for the constructor. Um, we'll move down now to public void um, food location. And we'll pass that a random class again. We'll call that ran food. And we're basically just doing what we did in the constructor. We we can just probably probably cut and paste, copy and paste this down into here. It's doing exactly the same thing, but um, you'll see later when it comes into use. And lastly, we'll just public void. We'll just draw the um, snake, oh, the food. I mean, sorry. And we'll pass it graphics paper and we will assign the food rec uh, we'll assign it uh, the x to its x value and the y to its y value and all we have to do now is fill the rectangle Cool, I think we're pretty much done for the food class. So, yeah, in the draw food uh, method, this the food rec dot x equal to x is pretty much when the food is hit by the snake, it just 
calls the food location and then draws um, draws the food in different locations um, every time it's hit. So if we go back to, I will just say that. If we go back to form one, we are going to uh, we'll create a new random uh, class and call it ran food. Or variable ran food uh, new random like that and we'll also call the um, food class now in form one um, under initialize component we want to have because up the top we can't we can't fully call the new class um, which is food so we have to do this down in here because we're bringing in um, a random variable so if we go food is equal to new food and then we'll just add in our ran food here cool um, that's pretty much done for the top bit now we want to come down into paint and we want to just call our food class and we'll just draw food and give it paper and hopefully that should draw um, the food on the form and it does which is good yeah, so at the moment it's going but yeah it'll just leave the food there so what we have to do now is um, do a bit of collision detection to see when the food it's being hit by the snake so in the paint method um, we'll call for int i is equal to zero i is less than snake dot snake rec um, snake rec dot length and i plus plus now what we want to do here is um, just call an if statement so if, if so if uh, snake dot snake rec i um, dot intersects with so this is a boolean returns a boolean um, value this method so we'll intersect with and we'll just put food dot food rec like that and um, <coughs> what we have to do now is uh, we'll just call our food location and uh, and we should be good so if we look back here in our food class with our food location which calls on the random um, generator so we'll just go food dot food location and we'll go rand food cool and we'll see if that works so here we go It's uh, moving around the screen like it should. So that'll be the end of this tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial, we'll be adding a score and we'll be adding the length of like we'll increase the length of the snake and um, and do a bit of collision detection so you just can't go off the screen. But um, thank you for watching. And